हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक दिस वीडियो गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इफ यू लाइक रोबोटिक्स एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ कार व्हिच कैन फॉलो अ बॉल विथ इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वेरी सिंपल एंड इजीएस्ट वे टू डू दिस स्टफ यूजिंग सम सिंपल हार्डवेयर लाइक नोड एमसीयू एंड सम रिलेज एंड यूजिंग सम पाइथन कोड फॉर इमेज प्रोसेसिंग watch this video till the end and you will learn so many new things so let's get started first let's see the flow diagram of this project at the beginning my mobile sent a video to my laptop or pc via local host then our python code will process that video which is nothing but a number of images that's why we call as image processing after processing the python code will send the data regarding the position of the ball to our node mcu board for which direction to move then our node mcu and some hardware will drive the mod will drive our car automatically and our robot will follow the ball so first look at the hardware of robot here i am using esp8266 board and four channel relay module four bio motor and two lithium ion batteries for powering the motor here i am not using any motor driver instead of that i am using this relay yes i am using relays because it much better in our small robots and no more problems regarding voltage spikes and hardware connection many of you using l293 d motor driver ic that's work also fine so now The question is how we can drive a motor using relay. If I just connect the motor, relay and battery in this manner, then the motor will run only in one direction. But we need both direction. Just look at to this diagram. Now, if I turn on both relays, then motor will not rotate. In same case, if I turn off both relay, motor will also not rotate. Let's see uh, when I turn on first relay and off the second one then motor will rotate in one direction let's assume in anti clockwise direction and if I turn off first relay and turn on the second one then our motor will rotate in clockwise direction so you need two relays for each motor if you want to rotate motor in both directions Now this is the circuit diagram for our hardware connection. After making connection and arranging it, it will look like this. Here I am using this part for from old metal plate for standing my mobile phone here for taking a video. Now let's look at the coding part of Node MCU. Here this is the code for our Node MCU. It's very simple and short. You just need to change the SSID name and password. Let's understand the code. Here you can see server.on/forward, comma forward means when server is on by slash forward then forward function will run now look at the forward function here server dot on send the server dot send will send the text content move forward then this four digital right is control our relay and rotate the motor in forward direction likewise for this four conditions also so this is all about the code from arduino side Now let's look at to the image processing part. Here I am using Sublime Text Editor IDE for run Python code in my Linux OS. In your case, if it's Windows or Mac OS, then you need to download and install any IDE you like for running Python code. You can find many tutorials on YouTube also. Now let's see the code. Here this much library you need to install in your IDE. Now we need the video from our mobile. Then you need to install one app called IP Webcam in your Android or iOS device. 
Now open the app and scrolling down and click on start server. Then below you can find one IP address, not down that IP address. And write this IP address inside the code in line 6. Now this is this cv2.line will draw a line in our main mainframe. For detecting the ball, I use ball color for detection. You need to change this value regarding your ball color. Now as you can see here, when the ball is detected, then this rectangle is made over the ball object. Here the x and y is the starting coordinate of the rectangle and x plus w and y plus h is the ending coordinate of the ball. But we need the center coordinate of the ball for accurate ball position. So as you know that the center point of the two coordinate x1 y1 and x2 y2 is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. The same equation I use here and store this value in get x and get y variable. Now here I make 4 if conditions according to the position of the ball in frame and make a get request to our node MCU server. As you see in Arduino code when server.on slash forward then what happened in our car. So this code will first detect the ball position and according to the position it will send left, right, forward or stop to our node MCU. Make sure your laptop, your node MCU and mobile is connected in same Wi-Fi or you can turn on your mobile hotspot and connect node MCU and your laptop. So that's it from the coding part. Now you just need to upload the code in node MCU and run this Python code. You can find the code link in the description below. Now it's play time. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel for more such amazing projects. If you have any questions about this video or any other, just leave it in a comment section below. See you in the next video. Think amazing, be amazing.